Have you ever wondered who was the last Byzantine emperor? Step into the world of Constantinos Palaiologos, born in the year 1404 in the heart of Constantinople, the pulsating capital of the Byzantine Empire. The son of Manuel II Palaiologos and Helena Dragas, Constantinos was nurtured amidst a period of tumult for his empire, under the looming threats from the formidable Ottoman Turks. His childhood was not filled with frivolous play but was instead steeped in rigorous education, particularly in the art of warfare. After all, he was destined to be the shield against the empire's adversaries. By the time the year 1449 rolled around, Constantinos had ascended to the role of the despot of the Morea, a region nestled in southern Greece. From the city of Mistra, he wielded his power, fortifying Byzantine control against the mounting Ottoman aggression. But his most significant role was still ahead, as the throne of the Byzantine Empire awaited him. In 1448, the Byzantine Empire's fate fell onto Constantinos's shoulders. The death of his brother, Emperor John VIII Palaiologos, without a male heir, propelled Constantinos into the role of the last Byzantine Emperor. The Byzantine Empire, once vast and mighty, had diminished substantially. Constantinople, the heart of the empire, was encircled by hostile Ottoman territories. The situation was dire and the threats were relentless. Yet, Constantinos stood firm. He was not just a ruler, he was a defender of his city, his people, and his faith. Christianity, the religion of the empire, was under siege, much like the city itself. The Ottoman threat was not just a physical assault, it was an ideological battle. Constantinos understood this, he was not just fighting for territory, he was fighting for an identity, a way of life, a belief system. The stakes were high, the challenges immense, but Constantinos was resolved. Despite the odds, Constantinos was resolved to defend his city, his people, and his faith. In 1453, the Ottoman Sultan Mehmed II brought the fight to Constantinople's doorstep. The city, once the heart of an empire, found itself in the crosshairs of a massive Ottoman siege. Despite the looming threat, Emperor Constantinos the Kanth Palaiologos did not back down. He reached out to the west, to powers and principalities, pleading for aid. The response, however, was a mere trickle when a flood was needed. As the siege tightened, the days turned into weeks. On May 29, 1453, the unthinkable happened. The city's defenses, worn thin and beleaguered, were breached. The Ottomans stormed the city and in the midst of this chaos, Constantinos met his end. But he did not fall on his knees, he fell on his feet, sword in hand, defending his city until the very end. Constantinos was not just an emperor, he was a warrior who fell fighting for his empire. Constantinos II, Palaiologos, the last Byzantine emperor, left an indelible mark on history. His reign, though fraught with challenges, was emblematic of defiance in the face of overwhelming odds. Constantinos's determination to defend his city and his faith against the encroaching Ottoman Empire has become an enduring symbol of resistance. He was not just an emperor, he was a warrior. Standing on the walls of Constantinople, he chose to fight, to resist, to defy the inevitable. His bravery was not about victory, but about the refusal to surrender, to bend to the will of a formidable enemy. His legacy transcends time and geography. It's echoed in the spirit of every underdog who dares to stand against a mightier adversary. His story, etched in the annals of Greek and Byzantine history, continues to inspire. Constantinos the Fonth of Palaiologos, an emperor, a warrior, a symbol of resistance, lives on in the annals of history, reminding us of the power of determination in the face of adversity.